the Lord allows Satan to hurt us at times. Reason being, this is the only way for the Lord to get our attention. He's been calling me nicely for so many years. Come back to me. Come back to me. Come back to me. Come to the church. Stop going to those dark alleys. Stop going to the wrong places for the wrong reasons with the wrong people. Stop doing this, my child. I have purchased you with my own precious blood. Remember, you belong to me, not to the world, not to Satan, not to this darkness. You belong to the light. You belong to the King of all kings and the Lord of all lords, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So since you haven't been paying attention to my calling, I've called you nicely for too long. Now I will break you through Satan. Okay, Satan, you are released out of this bondage. Go, but within limitations. I want you to go and shake up this child of mine to wake up to themselves and realize they are not free as they define freedom. They are not. All of a sudden, I got sick. All of a sudden, my business is going downhill. All of a sudden, my closest people are now like enemies. All of a sudden, I have marital problems, I have social problems, economical problems, things are falling apart around me, and then I just say, what is happening? Why, why, why? Why? Because you are not paying attention enough to the calling of Christ. So, Satan has been released for a little while to shake you up and to make a man out of you. Come back to Jesus Christ before it's too late. Before it's too late. Before it's too late. So when we go through trials, through hardships, thank the Lord. Don't be angry, don't retaliate, and don't run away from the Lord, but rather run to the Lord, not away from Him, but run to Him. Say, Lord, I can't handle it anymore. The, the burdens are too heavy for me to carry. I'm collapsing. I got to a stage where I cannot do it anymore. I need you, Lord. And I'm coming confessing my mistakes and sins before your holy and mighty presence. Lord Jesus, have mercy on me. Verse 4.